Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Travel Jack. And today's travels keep us local here to Anaheim, California. We're going to Disney California Adventure right here. And uh, lots of stuff to see, very special visit. This will be my first full day visit to California Adventure since the pandemic began. So a lot of stuff I haven't seen yet, including the brand new Avengers Campus. We'll be checking that out today. And the big return, it's back, the world of color. All of that and much more right here on Travel Jack. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, this is a newfangled oh, uh, uh, video taking machine. Oh, it's like the movie camera wow. from yeah. Walt Disney. From Walt the Disney, that's right. He's Good doing moving pictures now. What? Moving pictures? Oh, yes. They call Big them talkies. Tea. Talkies? Yes. You can, you can hear them talking. Wow. And Snow White is going to be uh, an hour and a half long cartoon. We'll see how that goes. Well, I don't it's know about that. Isn't that for kids? Good morning. Oh, yeah, but I think Good it's morning. success. It's Walt Disney's ID. It is Walt Disney. All right, let's see what's going on here at California Adventure. Good morning. All right, Buena Vista Street looking amazing today. Uh, all the summer decorations are out, very patriotic, and uh, all Americana right here on Buena Vista Street. I love it. Also, when you first come in, we got the citizens of Buena Vista Street greeting everybody as you come in, and what a fantastic start to the day. First order of business, though, is to grab a little uh, breakfast, a little something to eat. So let's see. I think I know where we're going. Let's see what's, uh, what we're going to have for breakfast. All right, pro tip when you come to California Adventure, or really any theme park you go to, get there right when it opens because you got the place to yourself for at least for the first hour or two uh, before it really starts packing in. Of course, we're in the middle of July when I'm filming this, so uh, summer crowds, well, I'm sure we'll be uh, filling in a little bit later today, but I got right now, came into uh, Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe, otherwise known as Starbucks, and uh, that's my go-to breakfast location here at California Adventure. And uh, of course I got myself my usual sausage, bacon, and, and so, no bacon, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich, and a caramel macchiato. And um, let's have that right now. Nice and hot. Oh yeah. Oh, very good. Um, of course I have a very strict diet these days, but it's a cheat day. I'm at uh, Disney today, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have my sausage and cheese sandwich. And uh, anyway, we're gonna see what we're gonna do first. On here, uh, of course, World of Color, right on the front. But uh, the first attraction listed on here says the red car trolley. I think that's not reopened yet. It's due to reopen very soon. We'll go check it out and see if it's open or not. But uh, it is listed on the map here. Not sure if it's running or not. Uh, other than that, we'll uh, we'll check out what else is going on here for our first attraction. Not sure what we're going to do quite yet for the first attraction at California Adventure since the pandemic. So let's check it out right here on Travel Jack. Unfortunately, no red trolley today. Uh, I did open up the app to see if it said anything about the red trolley. It is listed on the park map, but uh, it's not listed as under refurbishment or anything like that. So 
Uh, you just have to figure it out on your own that it's not operating today. It's actually been closed for quite a while, actually even before the pandemic when they started construction of Avengers Campus. Uh, they closed it down for that and it has yet to reopen. I hear it's coming very soon though, uh, before the end of the month from what I understand. But uh, it'd be cool if they listed that on the app, but I understand why uh, the situation's a little bit different right now. And so it's, uh, they get a pass for that. But anyway, I did do a couple of attractions. I didn't film them because the first one was Mickey's Philhar Magic. It's one of those 3D movies. And uh, they kind of frown on uh, filming those. It doesn't turn out well anyway when it's a 3D movie because uh, you need the special glasses for those. And then I went across the street to the Animation Academy. Uh, didn't film that either. But those two attractions, there's a pro tip for you. If it's getting really hot outside, head into those two attractions. You could kill an hour in those two attractions alone. Uh, in nice air conditioning so uh, or if, if it's winter time if it's raining or something you can run into those two buildings and get out of the weather but anyway our first ride of the day is going to be right here monsters inc mike and sully to the rescue our first official ride back in california adventure since before the pandemic so let's check it out and see what's going on in monsters inc
The time is here. We're finally going to check out Avengers Campus, and uh, we're going to start off with this attraction behind me: uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Now, of course, this has been open for several years uh, before the official um, Avengers Campus open, and uh, I had mixed feelings about it. The actual attraction is fantastic, but when they rethemed it, it didn't fit in with the whole theme of Hollywood Land. But now that Avengers Campus is open, I probably feel a little bit better about it now. It fits in with the theme of Avengers Campus. And this attraction is now officially part of Avengers Campus. So uh, it fits in a lot better with the theming. Um, but I still kind of wish they'd never changed it from Tower of Terror. That was, I thought it was better. But, uh, but I, do, I do enjoy it. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film on ride or not. I'm gonna go ahead and strap on the GoPro and see if they allow it or not. Uh, if not, we'll get some shots of the uh, queue. So uh, let's go on inside and check out Guardians of the Galaxy.
one step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You are now standing in my private office. I know! Right, Carefully scrutinize each and every piece that comes to me from different parts of the galaxy. Bless you, this guy! Big motivation for me to escape. not been paying attention. The name's Rocket, one of the guardians of the galaxy. The smart one. Listen up. He's gonna put you on a gantry lift for your tour. I'm gonna sneak on top of your lift and take us all the way to the big old generator control room. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy all the control systems which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends. Our buddy Mantis is in the getaway ship waiting for my signal and then we'll be on a merry way. But this plan won't work unless you help. I don't have clearance. My hands don't scan. Yours do. If you raise your hands, I get the clearance and the chaos begins. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna take this. Now move it. Okay. A few shots from the queue of the spectacular Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, fits Again, the theme fits much better in now that Avengers Campus is open right over here. But we're going to take a look at that in a few minutes, but uh, we're going to get ready because the virtual queue is going to open up at 12 o'clock. we got to secure our tickets for the World of Color. So we got to do that on the phone. So good time to grab a treat and uh, grab a table somewhere. And uh, let's check out some food offerings here at Avengers Campus. You know how I love uh, my themed menu items? This place is full of themed menu uh, restaurants and themed menu items. We're gonna grab a little snack here at Terran Treats and see what they have to offer right here at Avengers Campus. Pretty cool. We stopped by Terran Treats and we picked up this snack called the Sweet Spiral Ration. And that's described as a uh, raspberry churro. And we got a Coca Cola as well. As I walked into uh, this area just past uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, there's the Quinjet here on the right. And there you have uh, some fighting action going on. Uh, Black Panther's up there and stuff going on. We'll check out a little bit more of that a little bit later, hopefully. But uh, lots of uh, heroes and characters wandering around here. And, uh, but anyway, we're going to enjoy this nice snack here. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's lemon on the inside. That's very good. 
Okay, it's just about time to book our virtual queue for the World of Color. So I'm gonna do a little bit of video editing magic here. And I'm sorry it's backlit here really bad, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're gonna move that over to the side. And uh, we're gonna turn on our screen recorder here. And there we go. And so a couple of steps you need to do. Uh, First, we're going to open the Disneyland app. So, uh, on our phone, you got the Disneyland app already installed, ready to go. And we're, here we go. We're going to open that up. And so, first thing you need to do, just scroll down on the main page here to virtual queues. And uh, there it is. We're going to hit join virtual queue. Now, before you do this, make sure you go on ahead of time and make sure your whole party is linked together on your app. Do this in the morning. Don't wait till last minute to do this. And then because here you're gonna hit confirm your party. In my case, I don't have to worry about it because it's just me today. So I'm a party of one. So I'm, there I am, I'm ready to go, right? Now I think this is the screen here. Yes, okay. So I just have to, at the bottom of the screen here, I just have to hit refresh. And uh, right exactly at 12 p.m., the link will come up. Now there's two showings tonight. I think there's a 9.15 and a, or a 9 o'clock and a 10.15 show. I would prefer the later show, um, just because it'll be less crowded. Uh, but it'll assign one, one show or the other at random, and then it'll assign you a, a, a viewing area. You'll get yellow or blue. That's just two different entrances to the show. And you'll probably want to get there at least an hour early to get, if you, especially if you want viewing up front on the, on the waterfront. But um, anyway, we got a little over a minute to go. So we're gonna wait for this to go here. Get refreshed just to check it out. We got one less than a minute to go. So once you open the app, just uh, early in the morning, make sure your whole party's linked together here. And then um, once we get the link, it'll randomly assign the early show or the late show. Uh, I tried this on opening day, and it sold out in less than five seconds. It was cra it went crazy fast, uh, but that was opening day. I'm not sure how fast it goes now. Uh, it is in the middle of summer too, so I imagine it'll still go pretty quickly. So you're gonna be right on it. But I'm ready to go. I just, I just have to hit that refresh button and be pretty quick. It's gonna go in just a few seconds here, and then we'll get a world of color reservation. As soon as that upper left corner, that's the clock, as soon as that goes up, there it is, refresh, refresh again, join virtual queue. Am I in? I'm in. Okay. Congrats, you're on your way. I don't know which... Showtime 1. So I'm guessing that's the 9 o'clock show. Show times. That must be the nine o'clock show. Let me go back. My cues. Just a showtime one. I'm guessing that's the nine o'clock show. So I'm gonna count on about eight o'clock being at the um, at the uh, entrance. Uh, it will the app will inform you later on which entrance you're gonna get, yellow or blue. So anyway, we're in. Uh, so nine o'clock show it looks like, and we'll be back to watch World of Color a little bit later tonight, right here on Travel Jack. But in the meantime, it is lunchtime. So let's see uh, where else we're gonna go here. And uh, right here in Avengers Campus at California Adventure. Okay, we're here at the Pim Test Kitchen and right next door to it is called the Pim Tasting Lab. The Tasting Lab is kind of like their bar and next door is the kitchen where you get food. So I figured why not? Let's try kind of an aperitif if you will. I got a, it's called the Molecular Meltdown. 
You know how I love my theme menus, this is great. But I guess it's like a marshmallow stout beer cocktail. So a little, a little pricey, but we're gonna give it a try. Molecular Meltdown, let's go check it out. Alright, here we are with our molecular meltdown. Look at this. This is spectacular. And uh, a little bit pricey, $18 for this, but look at this cool cup. It comes, you get to keep this, and uh, looks like a kind of a test tube, uh, what would you call this? A beaker? Or I don't know what you call this. I've been taking chemistry in years, but uh, pretty cool. I love the theming. Anyway, it's a marshmallow stout. Let's give it a try. I'm going to sip it from this side. Very rich uh, beer, yeah. Marshmallow, mm -hmm. that's very good. That's very interesting. It's got that little bit of like a kick, like a dark stout beer would have. And then you get the aftertaste, just a, just a hint, it's not too strong of the marshmallow. Of course it's topped with marshmallows and foam. Really good, I like it. So I'm going to finish up this beer and then we'll go uh, into the uh, Pim's Tasting Kitchen and see what they have to offer. Oh, let me uh, mention also, um, lots of seating over there by the test kitchen, but trying to find a table that's not in the direct sun, it was challenging. I walked all around the land and uh, they could probably add more seating. Uh, they do have some here by uh, where the uh, Frozen show used to be, that theater and kind of on the side of it, they have more tables. They have plenty of room where they can add more tables if they're not using this theater. Uh, so I kind of wish they'd do that. But um, anyway, there's more tables over here too. So you can find uh, a table in the shade, but it might take a little bit of work if you're uh, looking around. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up this beer in the shade because <laughs> it's a hot day today. And then we'll go grab some food at the test kitchen, see what they have to offer. Let's check it out. Spider-Man on Travel Jack. And uh, one thing I gotta say about uh, Avengers Campus, it really feels alive. There's lots of entertainment, lots of characters everywhere you look. Interactive, they're just walking around, interacting with people. And uh, I really like that. That's one thing that's kind of missing a little bit from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, you know, they could have more characters, more droids roaming around. I understand they added recently uh, more characters and uh, the Mandalorian's coming soon. So they're working on it, um, but it it's, just doesn't feel the same as uh, Avengers Campus as far as the characters and interactions and the energy around uh, Avengers Campus is really spectacular. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm just kind of walking around. We're waiting for our lunch to be ready. We've got about 10 minutes. I'm just walking around Avengers Campus and seeing what there is to see and uh, see what we bump into while we're waiting for lunch. Let's check it out. Spider-Man! <laughs>
right, that was a lot of fun. We went in uh, Pim's Test Kitchen, and uh, they got the big machine there that it shrinks and enlarges the uh, pretzels. And uh, that's their gimmick for the whole menu. Uh, you get large or small items. And um, it really reminded me of when I was a kid, and I went through uh, the attraction called Adventures Through Inner Space. And you get on these attractions, a lot like the uh, Doom Buggies on the Haunted Mansion, but you go under a shrinking ray, and on the other side of the shrinking ray, they come out real small. And I remember going on that. Of course, that attraction is long gone. It's where Star Tours is now. Um, they replaced that in the, I want to say, early to mid-80s. But anyway, um, really reminded me of that. But a lot, uh, really fun concept, of course, based on the Ant-Man movies. And um, so this uh, dish I chose, it's, impo it's uh, by the way, this restaurant is sponsored by Impossible, the meatless uh, plant-based company. Uh, Impossible, they make Impossible burgers, Impossible meat. So the, uh, this restaurant is sponsored by them, and that's right up my alley because I'm not supposed to eat red meat or dairy. So I ordered this dish called the Impossible Spoonful, and it's a metallic bowl. It's supposed to represent a spoon, I guess, but... It's got the uh, plant-based meatballs, and of course you got one small one and one large one. That's a lot of fun. And the uh, cheese on there is also dairy-free. So this is right up my alley. Uh, rigatoni pasta and plant-based meatballs. So we're gonna give that a try. Also, I got a soda, and uh, I was really surprised about this because it's one of those Coca-Cola freestyle machines that you get a self-service one, but it's located after the checkout, after you pay which means I, I guess you can get free refills. What? At Disney, free refills? Uh, so pro tip, hold on to your cups throughout the day. Come on back to Pim's Test Kitchen and get free refills in your sodas. Also, they have cherry vanilla pib. Oh yeah. That's my cheap drink, but here we go with the impossible meatball, the I forget what they call it already, the Impossible Spoonful. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna have this small meatball, a little bit of that pasta on there. Dairy-free cheese, I love it. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like pasta meatballs. Delicious, very good. Look at that, that's a lot of fun. Thumbs up on the theme menus, I love it. And. Free refills at Disney, can you believe it? Anyway, we're gonna finish up lunch here and then we'll walk around, see what else we can see. And uh, we'll check out, I think the Web Slingers attraction is uh, right around the corner. We'll walk around and see what else is going on right here at Avengers Campus on Travel Jack. That's a cool little spider bot. You'll see those all around Adventures Campus and little hidden in little corners, little areas. And they're, uh, that's all tied into the attraction here. S uh, spider Man Web Slingers. We're gonna go check that out. I haven't been on it yet, uh, but we'll check that out. And you, you, so you go on the ride and you can sling webs like Spider Man and you capture these little spider bots. You'll see in a minute. I'll film this ride. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because you're supposed to use your arms to shoot the webs, it's interactive. And, uh, but I'm going to be using one of my arms to try and film it. Also, it's in 3D. I think you're wearing the glasses. But I'll do my best to film it. It might not be the best video, but uh, we'll give it a shot here. Uh, and this is the one and only new attraction that opened with the new uh, Avengers Campus, not counting uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, there is a uh, future expansion planned. Don't know what year that's supposed to open or when that's going to happen, but there's going to be another uh, major attraction opening up with the expansion, kind of a phase two, if you will, uh, in the future uh, expansion planned for Avengers Campus. But right now, let's go on inside and check out Web Slingers. They do have a single rider line. We'll be taking advantage of that. If you don't want to do that, you can buy the Genie Plus. This one has the a la carte option where you can pay to skip the line uh, just for this one single attraction if you want to do that with your with your group. I'm by myself today, so I'll be using the single rider line. So let's go on inside and check out Web Slingers here at Adventures Campus. I'm 
time we took that lap bar makers off. Okay, good luck folks, you guys are on this side.
Thank you. 
Slingers. It's a fantastic attraction. Uh, it's a lot like Midway Mania over on the other side of the park in uh, Pixar Pier. Uh, but the difference is instead of having a, a little weapon, a little gun, you just use your hands like you're swinging webs and they got sensors on it. And it looks like you're swinging, slinging webs and getting the spider bots. It's a lot of fun. I really like it. It looked like there was some technical issues or maybe just some slow loading in between. So there's there is some uh, spaces in between screens where we just sat there for a little bit. But uh, not a big deal. It was a lot of fun still. And uh, the attraction that was there before it was it's tough to be a bug. So I'll take this over it's tough to be a bug any day. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, overall thoughts about uh, Avengers Campus? Big thumbs up, uh, lots of characters, lots of shows, interactions. You can't walk through here without bumping into a character. It's fantastic. Themed menu items at the restaurants, themed drinks. Big thumbs up all the way around. The only uh, drawback to it is there's only that one new attraction. There is a future expansion planned, and uh, I'm looking forward to that, but they need more uh, rides. Also, the dining areas, it's all outdoor seating. It wouldn't have killed them to make air-conditioned indoor dining. There's not enough seating, at least not enough that's shaded. It's very hot today, and it was a struggle to find a, a table in the shade. I had to walk around a couple of times to find a table in the shade. Um, but other than that, uh, that's all, all the negative I have. Everything else is very positive. I, lo I love the ride. I love the characters, the shows. It feels... Uh, energetic and alive uh, big thumbs up hopefully they'll uh, take some lessons learned from here as far as entertainment and characters and apply it in galaxy's edge where it needs it they really need more characters and entertainment and uh, things like lightsaber battles up on uh, up on the buildings and things like that it, it would really do a lot of benefit for galaxy's edge but overall thumbs up i love Gal uh excuse me avengers campus and uh Love it. I'll be spending some time here. It is a little bit of a small area, but I spent several hours here. So checking out some of the food and the shows and the ride. Love it. Big thumbs up. I also feel a lot more comfortable with uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy re-theme. It fits in a lot better with Avengers Campus now that it's all open. So uh, thumbs up. Love it. Let's see what else is going on here at uh, California Adventure and World of Color still to come later tonight. Hey, it's a nice sign. You're welcome. Anyway, uh, we're here at Smoke Jumper's Grill, and uh, of course I got my refill over there at Pim's Kitchen. I saved my cup, saved myself a few bucks there. But we got ourselves a Chipotle barbecue cheeseburger, and this looks really amazing. And indoor seating. How about this? So they're out of the sun. Sun's going down now. It's going to be getting dark pretty soon. Almost time for World of Color. And I managed to hit almost every attraction here at California Adventure today. Uh, I've noticed that lines are very short today. And a lot of the attractions, the wait time for the standby queue is severely overinflated. Uh, for example, Guardians of the Galaxy said 40 minutes. It was like 10 minutes. Um, Midway Mania said an hour. It was less than 10 minutes. Uh, so that was way off. And... Um, also, uh, the Incredicoaster said about 45 minutes, and that was maybe 10 minutes for standby. I did use the single rider queue, but the standby queue was going in faster than the single riders. So, um, a lot of speculation as to why they do that. Um, uh, before the pandemic, before the lightning lane, they were pretty accurate on their wait times. Now, they're, they seem to be way overinflated, and I think they do that on purpose, so that people who don't know better will go buy those lightning lanes. And uh, if that's what's going on, thumbs down on Disney for that. Uh, that's not cool. Uh, give accurate wait times and let people make an informed decision if they want to buy Lightning Lane or not. Uh, just be honest. So anyway, uh, maybe that's not what's going on. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes. But uh, wait, the actual wait times way, way lower than the posted wait times, which I'm not complaining about that. I uh, love a short line. So anyway, we're going to have dinner here at Smoke Jumper's Grill. Looking forward to this. And coming up next, actually coming up right now, as you're watching this video, the big return of the world of color. So without further ado, 
sit back, relax, and enjoy the wonderful world of color right here on Travel Jack. Somebody else in the room. 
Sanity, Illusion, Simple Founder, Simple.